Hi, I'm Deb Sperry, and I'd like to draw you a picture. What if you imagined the spirits of those who preceded you in your home, the office, or your city? In a recent exhibition, A Head Backwards at the Zach Feuer Gallery in New York, Johan van der Beek created sculptures and paintings by imagining who built New York City and what those spirits looked like if they resided in the buildings. Wanting to release the spirits that might be residual in the walls, floors, and ceilings, van der Beek set out to give them form. Using an acrylic casting material and minimal color to convey the concept of spirit, he took impressions of the brick walls, the century-old floors, and other architectural details that are then cut out, reinforced, and designed to lean against the wall or be freestanding. With the textures of brick and mortar and the human-like forms, some sculptures seem to pirouette through the gallery, while others loiter against the wall, waiting to dance. In the 94-inch tall cave hand, van der Beek has incorporated a steel armature to allow the sculpture to slouch and stand freely. Its stance is like a curve of a wave. Its pitch suggests movement as if we keep the dance motif, one could believe this is the break dancer in the crowd. Ancestor is made from casting impressions of floorboards. The sculpture looks as if the floor had risen up and rolled into a person. We see what appears to be planes of the face, complete with spots, wrinkles, and marks. This and the others like it in the exhibition contain none of the lightness of the standing and leaning sculptures. Instead, they feel solid, heavy, and gravity-laden, and are better associated with the grounding of the floor, the city, and the people who built it. Included in the exhibition are ten acrylic paintings on a substrate of aluminum, foil, and foam that represent various vistas into the sky or roof of the city. Rendered as textural rubbings and fields of muted colors, the deep grays, blues, and silver paintings look like windows looking into the sky at various times of day. Van der Beek's sky impression, wheat field, glows warm and amber, while the palettes of the other paintings are cool and dark. To paraphrase Goethe, the artist alone sees spirits, and after he is told of their appearance, everyone sees them. Van der Beek has now told us about spirits and buildings past, and with that, he wants us to remember that where we have been informs where we're going. For Artist Stories, I'm Deborah Sperry.